Hello, I'm in Oxford. It looks just like any other modern town, doesn't it? But just a short walk from the station, right in the centre of the city, we can see beautiful buildings and amazing architecture. This building was designed by Sir Christopher Wren. It's the Sheldonian Theatre, completed in 1668. It's used for music concerts, lectures, conferences, and for university graduation ceremonies. And here, close by, is the Radcliffe Camera. It was built as a library in the 18th century, but is now used as a reading room. Camera, by the way, means room in Italian. What's it like living and studying with all these wonderful buildings around you? Well, Oxford is a really beautiful city, mm. but it's very easy to forget to look up because when you look up, you see all the tops of the buildings and the beautiful ornaments and spires. Mm, on the roofs. On the top, on the roofs. And when you're studying hard, I think it's easy to look down too much. Yes. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Bye. A lot of university buildings are old because the university has been here for 800 years. But it also has some more modern buildings. This is Keeble College, built in 1870. It's different, isn't it? There used to be a secret society in nearby St John's College. To become a member of the society, you had to remove one brick from Keeble College and give it to the society. They hoped that one day Keeble would be completely demolished. In contrast, this is the Said Business School, built in 2002. As you can see, it's definitely a very modern and striking building. Do you have a preference between old traditional buildings or more modern buildings? I personally prefer the old buildings because they have this certain class that I really enjoy. Yeah. Great, well have a great time girls. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that's all we've got time for. In the next programme, we're going south to Chichester near the coast. See you there. Bye. Bye.